She's one of the most notorious criminals of the 21st century, but who are the biggest names in Ghislaine Maxwell's address book? According to Vanity Fair, Ghislaine Maxwell first became acquainted with Donald Trump in the 80s through her father, disgraced businessman Robert Maxwell, who was then owner of the Daily Mirror newspaper group. Allegedly, the pair often attended hedonistic parties, as Trump became a fixture of Jeffrey Epstein's Little Black Book. In 2002, Trump told New York Magazine, I've known Jeff for 15 years, terrific guy. It is even said that he likes beautiful women as much as I do, and many of them are on the younger side. When the disgraced socialite was arrested in 2020, Trump was one of the few people outside of the Maxwell family to express sympathy for her. I've met her numerous times over the years, especially since I lived in Palm Beach, and I guess they lived in Palm Beach, uh, but I wish her well. Subsequently, Maxwell told The Sun that Trump's support meant everything to her. She said, I was very grateful when he wished me well after the arrest. He got bad media for it, but he dared while others didn't. I was honored he remembered me. From Trump's standpoint, it would appear that he lays the blame solely on Epstein as opposed to Maxwell. Although he once claimed that Epstein was a great guy, he later changed his tune, branding him repugnant and even bolstering the conspiracy theory that the financier was murdered. One of Ghislaine Maxwell's closest friends, Prince Andrew, first met the socialite when she was studying at Oxford University in the 80s. The pair hit it off and were photographed together numerous times, and in 1999, Prince Andrew flew with Maxwell on Epstein's private jet. Virginia Roberts Jufre, who alleged that Andrew abused her when she was a teenager, claimed that Maxwell orchestrated these encounters and also participated in the abuse. She later said, Maxwell's role was as the madam. She assumed a position of trust for all the girls. She had sex with underage girls virtually every day I was around her. The following year, Maxwell and Epstein celebrated Andrew's birthday at Windsor Castle. Also that year, Andrew attended a party at Maxwell's London home where he was photographed with his arm around Jufre in a now infamous snap. Andrew denied that he ever engaged in sexual misconduct. In his disastrous Newsnight interview in 2019, Andrew dissociated himself from Maxwell. If there are questions that Ghislaine has to answer, that's her um, problem. I'm afraid I'm, I'm, I'm not in a position to be able to comment one way or the other. When Andrew sought to distance himself from her, Maxwell was distraught. She told the son, I accept that this friendship could not survive my conviction. He is paying such a price for the association. I consider him a dear friend. I care about him. According to Politico, it was through Ghislaine Maxwell that Jeffrey Epstein and Bill Clinton first became acquainted. Maxwell was friends with Clinton's daughter Chelsea, and she reportedly served as a mediator between the financier and the former president. An insider claimed, Ghislaine was the contact between Epstein and Clinton. She ended up being close to the family because she and Chelsea ended up becoming close. In fact, Maxwell was so close to Clinton that she attended Chelsea's wedding in 2010. However, an investigation by the Daily Beast revealed that her association with Clinton dates back to the 90s. Documents show that Epstein and Maxwell attended multiple White House events when Clinton was in office. On numerous occasions, Clinton joined Maxwell and Epstein on the latter's private jet and island. There are even claims, made in the book A Convenient Death, that Clinton and Maxwell dated. Reps for the former president said that Clinton had no knowledge whatsoever of Maxwell and Epstein's many sex crimes. In a damning revelation, it appears that Clinton's friendship with Maxwell did not end once Epstein was exposed as a pedophile. In 2014, the pair got together for a secret dinner as the Daily Beast disclosed in a separate report. An insider said, This is an intimate dinner with Clinton in L.A. Think of all the people he knows in L.A. And Ghislaine gets to attend. According to Jeffrey Epstein survivor Virginia Roberts Jufre, supermodel Naomi Campbell was Ghislaine Maxwell's best friend. Jufre made the claim in the documentary Jeffrey Epstein, Filthy Rich. She repeated the allegations on Twitter, sharing a photo of herself when she was 17 alongside Maxwell and Campbell. Jufre said, She was Maxwell's BFF. There is no way in hell that she didn't know what was happening in front of her own eyes. They were all aware of Epstein and Maxwell's op. Didn't go at any length to hide it, either. In a separate tweet, Jufre claimed that Campbell, along with other Maxwell acquaintances, watched her be abused. Indeed, Campbell was frequently photographed with the socialite and featured in Epstein's Little Black Book. Jufre was even photographed with Maxwell at the model's 31st birthday party. However, Campbell vehemently denies that she was closely associated with Maxwell and Epstein. Responding to Jufre's allegations, the supermodel posted a video on her YouTube channel. I've always said that I'm not a saint, that I am a work in progress. 
but I will not be held hostage by my past. She went on to insist that she was unaware of Epstein and Maxwell's various crimes and claimed was never friends with the pair, having been introduced to them at the aforementioned 31st birthday party by an ex-boyfriend. Did you suspect what he was doing? No. Kevin Spacey may have been found not liable in Anthony Rapp's sexual abuse lawsuit, but the actor continues to be dogged by his association with Ghislaine Maxwell. During his time with Maxwell, the Oscar winner was treated like a king, literally. A report by The Telegraph revealed that Maxwell and Spacey were invited to Buckingham Palace by Prince Andrew in 2002. There, they were photographed sitting on thrones reserved for Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip. A source said they were larking about on the thrones, doing regal waves. Ghislaine sat on the Queen's throne with Spacey pretending to be the Duke of Edinburgh. People magazine editor Michelle Tauber later explained, They are not something that anyone would be expected to sit in. They are considered historic artifacts, so it's not something that would be in any way an appropriate use of the thrones regardless of who you are, unless you happen to be Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip. When the images of the pair surfaced, the brazen act was viewed as an affront to the Queen seeing as the thrones are usually cordoned off with rope to protect them from visitors. In addition to day trips to Buckingham Palace, Spacey reportedly joined Maxwell and Jeffrey Epstein on the latter's private plane. Testifying in Maxwell's 2021 trial, Epstein's pilot, Larry Wasowski Jr., said that he flew Spacey on the plane that was dubbed the Lolita Express. However, he claims he never witnessed any illegal activity. One of Ghislaine Maxwell's most surprising alleged confidants is Rush Hour star Chris Tucker. At Maxwell's criminal trial, Jeffrey Epstein's pilot, Larry Wasowski Jr., divulged that he had flown Tucker on the millionaire's private jet. Tucker was listed on a flight log along with Bill Clinton and Kevin Spacey, apparently for a charity excursion with Maxwell and Epstein. Photos obtained by the outlet show a seemingly elated Tucker grinning during the flight. Epstein survivor Shantae Davies said of the trip, it was like I was at camp with the most unimaginable group of campers one could put together. Everybody cracked jokes at one another. Clinton was chiming in, cracking jokes along with us, and we were all laughing and bonding over corny jokes. Discussing his association with the socialite sex trafficker and pedophile financier, Tucker confessed to All Urban Central that he did indeed fly on Epstein's private jet, explaining that he was on a humanitarian trip to Africa. However, Tucker, who has not been accused of any wrongdoing, insisted that he had no idea about the shady businessman's illegal activities. He said, You don't know people, what they do in their private lives. We were going to Africa to save lives. Defense lawyer Alan Dershowitz is famed for representing unsavory individuals, such as the alleged attempted killer Klaus von Bülow and, more famously, O.J. Simpson, who was ultimately acquitted of killing his wife, Nicole Brown. But of all the people he defended, the only client he regrets taking on is Jeffrey Epstein, whom he represented in the 2000s. Dershowitz claimed that Epstein lied to him about the extent of his sex abuse ring, admitting, When I later learned the extent of this, I was shocked. I never saw him in the presence of any underage person or even anybody close to being underage. However, there are suggestions that he was more deeply involved in Epstein and Maxwell's inner circle than he had let on. It has been alleged that Dershowitz had sexual encounters with young women whom Ghislaine Maxwell procured for Epstein, including Virginia Roberts Jufre. During Maxwell's own criminal trial, the socialite liaised with Dershowitz via email. In a leaked correspondence published by the Daily Mail, Dershowitz asked Maxwell whether the infamous photo of Prince Andrew posing alongside Jufre was authentic. Although Maxwell later told the son that she believed the photo was a fake, she replied to Dershowitz, It looks real. I think it is. In 2022, the Times alleged that Dershowitz had asked President Trump to pardon Maxwell, though he insisted to Insider that the accusations are untrue. In a career spanning 60 years, Mick Jagger has socialized with more A-listers than he can likely remember. He has also been snapped partying with Ghislaine Maxwell. The relationship between Maxwell and Jagger seems to date back to the early 90s. Certain images show a young Maxwell mingling with Jagger and fashion guru Susanna Constantine in London back in 1991, which also happens to be the year Maxwell moved to New York. It is unclear how the pair first became acquaintances, but it would seem that, as with many other Epstein associates, Maxwell's social privilege enabled her to bring powerful people into the businessman's inner circle. As Vanity Fair notes, Jagger was among a multitude of celebrities featured in Epstein's Little Black Book. As detailed in the book A Convenient Death, Jagger allegedly engaged in an orgy on Epstein's plane in 2002. 
The shady financier apparently attempted to coax Bill Clinton into participating in the rock star's orgy, though he declined. This allegation has not been corroborated, and Jagger has not commented on the nature of his relationship with Maxwell or Epstein. Former New York Governor Andrew Cuomo is another politician who has been linked to Ghislaine Maxwell. Christina Oxenberg, Maxwell's ex-friend, claims in her book, Trash, Encounters with Ghislaine Maxwell, that the fallen socialite attended the wedding of Cuomo and Carrie Kennedy, daughter of Robert F. Kennedy. However, Oxenberg suggested that it was probably Kennedy, not Cuomo, who had invited Maxwell to the gathering. In fact, Oxenberg said that Kennedy and Maxwell were so close that she was one of a few elite guests who were invited to a private post-wedding luncheon. She recalled, and it was when the guests were all milling amiably before lunch and standing around between Hickory Hill House and the tent that I first met her. I was standing with my then-husband when Ghislaine sauntered over." But Oxenberg insists that Cuomo was not complicit in abuse, despite his association with Maxwell. She insisted, "...I never saw AC behave inappropriately. If anything, he was extremely unfriendly at Kennedy family events." Indeed, Cuomo called out Epstein and those who sought to protect him in 2020, tweeting, no matter how rich, how big, or how powerful an institution you are, predatory behavior of any kind will not be tolerated in New York. In spite of his impassioned tweets, Cuomo was one of numerous individuals listed in Epstein's Little Black Book, and the governor has since faced a slew of sexual assault accusations himself, all of which he later denied. If you or anyone you know has been a victim of sexual assault, help is available. Visit the Rape, Abuse, and Incest National Network website or contact Rain's National Helpline at 1-800-656-HOPE-4673.